As you guys know, light beer makes a very unique promise. All the taste with half the calories. Now behind me, we have a brand new Chevy Silverado that basically makes that same promise. All the capability of a full-size truck with the fuel economy of a mid-size truck. Now keep in mind, we're not comparing the Silverado to the Frontier, but we are gonna find out whether that promise is true. So how does this brand new Silverado do it? Well, it's got something incredibly unique under the hood. Hey, all you Chevrolet owners, do you get annoyed by your engine's auto stop start feature? Well, you don't have to worry about it anymore if you install this, the auto stop eliminator. It prevents the auto stop feature from reactivating on every ignition cycle. Just check them out using the link below, autostopeliminator.com. The engine in this particular Silverado is extremely unique. Now as memory serves, and please if I'm wrong, comment in the section below, I believe this is the only four cylinder ever equipped in a full size truck. Now this is a 2.7 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. It develops 310 horsepower and 348 pound feet of torque. Now here's the funny thing, over here we got a Frontier with a traditional old school V6, four liters. 261 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. Obviously, the Silverado is far larger in terms of dimensions, but which one do you think gets a better fuel economy? All right, Tommy, I've got the Monroni for the Chevy. You've got the Monroni for the Frontier. They're both four-wheel drive. They both have two rows of seats, four doors. So what are you getting according to the EPA? Yeah, so I should be getting 15 city, 21 highway, and 17 combined. The Silverado's getting, get this, 19 city, 22 highway and 20 combined and our truck in about 150 miles of actual driving is getting 19.7 combined that puts it at about 3 mpg better than the mid-sized truck fuel nozzle put it in there another capless gas filler drum roll please 24 0.227 what? miles to the gallon. Well, this is a 70 mile an hour test. Yeah, I mean the Silverado with the 2.7 turbo did exceptionally well on this test. So, there you have it. All the taste, half the calories. Yeah, but there are compromises. So this truck definitely doesn't compete with the Frontier, Tommy, but we did do a video where we kind of compared it to the truck that it does compete with, the Ford 2.7 liter turbo. Yep. What did we get zero to 60 on this truck? 7.66. Up here at a mile above sea level. Yep. So for you guys down at sea level, subtract a second. Yeah, about. About, yeah. So the question, Tommy, of course, is what does this drive like? You know, I tend to like driving big V8s and full-size trucks, so is this like drinking a light beer, you know? All the taste with half the calories, but in real life, it's kind of half the taste with half the calories. No, I actually don't think it is. Um, if you didn't know, if someone put you in this truck and didn't tell you that it was a four-cylinder turbo and then put earmuffs on you, you'd have no idea. Because this truck goes like stink, even up here at mile bus sea level, 310 horsepower and almost 350 pound-feet of torque. You know, those are really impressive power numbers. 15 years ago, a Silverado 1500 with a 5.3 was getting like, what, 280 horsepower? So this thing is fast, it's quick. Certainly one of, if not the biggest handicap to the four-cylinder Silverado is towing capacity. A V8, a 5.3, or a 6.2 equipped Silverado will tow, in some cases, in excess of 12,000 pounds. A typical mid-sized truck will tow anywhere from 6 to about 7,500 pounds. This particular 2.7 liter Silverado is rated to tow 6,700 pounds. On the plus side, I was really surprised by the downhill performance. Eight brake applications is not the best result, yeah. but it was still good. Well, there's a truck full of surprises. I can't believe it went up the hill in under eight minutes. I mean, that's all the big boys, you know, the ones that had the big price tags, had to do all that. Everything about the truck was just a surprise, the way it handled, the way it pulled the trailer. But we've tested other V6 base trucks yes. in the half-ton segment, and this one did better than the Ram V6. That's true, and the base Ford. So I know they'll go up the ramp, you'll be able to merge into traffic the way you want to, fast. 
Chevrolet even makes a mid-size truck with four-wheel drive that tows more than the Silverado. That, of course, is the Colorado with a diesel. So if you're gonna tow heavy weights, the four-cylinder probably isn't the truck for you. Now, of course, the one thing we have to talk about, which is gonna be all of your first comments, yeah. is long-term reliability, and we just don't know. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, it's brand new, it just came out. We do know that Ford came out with their twin turbos and, Two seven. and the three five quite a long time ago now i think it's almost four years ago and reports are mixed but we can't extrapolate that to this engine so if you're looking for reliability if you're looking for long-term durability we just don't know the one thing that we do know is that today's modern turbos tend to be a lot more long-lived than the old ones right the old ones old small turbos used to burn the engine pretty quickly but i think the torque feels good and on a daily basis to drive you around to go to home depot to do the stuff that 90 percent of um, you guys might be doing on a daily basis the four cylinder is, is great another compromise you'll have to make especially in the city with a full-size truck is size because this is a big truck. I mean, it's probably almost XL when you compare it to previous generations. Tommy, how much will this bad boy haul? About 1,800 pounds of payload. 1,800 pounds of payload. Now the Chevrolet Silverado Online Configurator is very confusing. There's too many trims and versions and packages, but here's what I found out from a little bit of research. If you want the four cylinder, four wheel drive Silverado, you have some compromises off-road. You can't get the Z71 off-road package on a four-cylinder Silverado. Now, this particular model is equipped with some off-road goodies. It's got an off-road tire package and it's even got a G80 rear locker. But you're missing one important piece of tech compared to a Z71 Silverado. If you get a four-wheel drive Silverado and you don't get the Z71 off-road package, you don't get a low-range transfer case. Check it out here. This is a pretty unique thing in full-size trucks. I have a two high, a four high, an auto, but no four-wheel drive low. I do have this funny little symbol, which does something pretty cool. Let me show you. Now that funny little button is called terrain mode. To engage it, I select four-wheel drive high. I push the button, it disengages traction control. And if I go into low and select low one, what it's gonna do is essentially modulate the brakes to slow me down and give me more control off road. So my foot is off the brake, we should be crawling, but I actually have to apply a little bit of gas to get it to move. You can almost feel like it's under tension. So here comes a berm. So if I stop on the hill, I'll try stopping on the hill. There we go. So do you feel like you have more control or less control? I mean, does it approximate a low range? Well, no, because it doesn't change any of the gearing, but it does really hold the brake a long time. <laughs> so locked rear diff, sort of kind of fakey low range. Well, sort of locked rear diff. It's got a G80, so it's an automatic locker. I mean, that Frontier over there, Tommy. Yep. It's got real low range. Yep, real locker. And a real locker. Yeah. So what's the price difference? Let's find out. So here's the interesting thing. As tested, this Silverado is 49,000. That midsize truck, 37,000. Now, the reason this is so expensive is you might be thinking that this four cylinder turbo is the base engine. It's not. It actually slots just slightly below the 5.3, but above the V6. So you are gonna pay a premium to get good fuel economy. Uh, but let's face it, Tommy, I'm always going to be a pragmatist and a modernist, and it seems like turbos are in right now when it comes to full-size trucks, right? Right. So whether you like it or not, this is the future. So the question is, are you ready to embrace the future? I always love to say that full-size trucks and V8s go together like peanut butter and jelly, but what if you only have a four-cylinder? Is it like peanut butter and diet jelly? One of the things you certainly miss out on is that V8 punch, the V8 towing, and of course, the V8 engine note. Tommy, punch it. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Punch it. I can't hear it. 
<laughs> there's actually more induction noise from the turbocharger than there is exhaust note from the exhaust. Okay, good enough. If you want that V8 growl, <laughs> this definitely is not the truck. No way, no how. This could be a really good compromise if you want all the capability of a full-size truck with, you know, mid-size truck fuel capability. I, I, at well, the end of the day, I think that's huge. I think, too, the other point of capability is it goes beyond just towing and hauling and, and all that. It's, it's about the capability you get of being inside the truck, right? I mean, you don't get this amount of width in a mid-size truck. You don't get all these huge cubbies and massive space in the cabin of a mid-size truck. It's a small headroom. If, yeah. I, if I wore a cowboy hat, I could certainly... <laughs> fit one in here right so certainly capability goes beyond just what trailer can tow and how many rocks you can put in the bed so tommy is the new silverado with the four-cylinder turbo the light beer of trucks in other words all the taste with half the calories yeah for sure i mean i was really impressed with the power of the new 2.7 liter it really if you're not towing over 5,000 pounds regularly, I actually think that this 2.7 is a great engine. It's got a lot of punch. Yeah, and I actually enjoy driving it in the city because I feel like I am not burning as much fuel as I would be even in a mid-size truck, yet I'm getting, well, all the utility of a full-size truck. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, Chevy. As always, this is Roman. And Tommy, please don't comment below how we're comparing the two because we're not saying thanks for watching the TFL truck and check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, real world Silverado 2.7 liter reviews. See you guys next time, ciao.